I'm here in Birmingham at Highfield Gardens, which is a really good example of how the first buy is making a difference. Here of 11 sales, five have been under the first buy scheme. And what it's enabled people to do, including Mark Evans, who I've met today, is actually be able to make that bridge, that gap, if you like, between a property they desire and the ability to be able to afford it. And first buy is making a difference. In fact, we launched it in September of last year. By March, we saw 3,000 sales, 8,000 reservations. And that means that this is making a real difference to first-time buyers. And that matters not just for them, but it also matters for the broader housing market. Remember that many first-time buyers are part of a housing chain, and if we can help them, that can often unlock other housing deals as well. It's great to meet Mark Evans today because very often when you're dealing with policy, it's about general things. But when you meet people who are actually working hard and want to make sure that they're able to buy that first home, the fact that a policy like First Buy can make a real difference to him, the fact that he's, he has been renting and now can actually come and see the property that's going to be his first home, I think is a really exciting opportunity for him. And it's good for me because as a minister, sometimes the danger could be that we think about policies and not about people and I'm here to help people. So First Time Buy is in its first 12 months. We're now extending this program with a further 40 million as part of a broader package, which overall will see some 27,000 households benefit. It's a positive piece of action, and I think actually it's already beginning to show uh, that it can make a real difference.